What's up everybody welcome back to exotic astrology again and today we will discuss another funny video on symptoms of an afflicted weak debilitated terrible or miserable son <laughs> recently i did a video on symptoms of an afflicted moon and people have appreciated it yes now before beginning as i say god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will help you overcome the effects of a terrible sun <laughs> well in the video for moon if you have not watched it it is there in this playlist secrets please go and watch it there i said something and i'm going to say this again in this video that i am not going into astrological areas of what is the meaning of an afflicted moon by rahu ketu saturn i am not going to that so if you are thinking that oh my god my son is not afflicted but why am i getting these results my son is afflicted but why am i not getting these results that means there is some other possibility in the chart which is nullifying that effect so please do not think that just because your son is in leo or it is in aries it is not in trouble or don't think that just because your son is in libra or it is with saturn it is always going to be in trouble the whole chart has to be studied so there's no use of thinking or telling me that oh my son is like this but this is not happening yes but i am saying on a standard basis that by seeing this video you can understand irrespective of wherever your son is however it is placed if these symptoms are there in your life you have a difficult son and you need to work on it yes there you go welcome back once again and if you are not subscribed to the channel then please subscribe and if you like this video then click the thumbs up after watching it till the end and let us start symptoms of an afflicted sun what is sun sun is the significator of light sun is the power in the chart sun is the focus sun is the energy sun is the determination sun is the ability to stay stand strong irrespective of difficulties what is the number one symptom of an afflicted son or a difficult son the number one the end of it all the first primary symptom you do not have any direction in life <laughs> you do not know what you are doing in this world sounds familiar <laughs> it's so much sounds familiar right so many people my god sun in aries sun in leo sun in sagittarius my god no direction in life what is the meaning of this word no direction no direction simply means you do not know what you are supposed to do you are running into astrologers day and night sir 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 please tell me what should i do which is not wrong but you also should be able to figure out your inner calling what your inner calling is yes what you are supposed to do that it that is your responsibility to figure out it is not the job of the astrologer the astrologer can only help you and yes he should help you he must help you indeed but he cannot tell you black and blue that you are supposed to do this you are supposed to do that even if he tells it i have seen people people will call me and say tell me what what am i supposed to do what am i supposed to do when am i supposed to do where am i supposed to do when that is fine you are asking me but even if i tell you if your son is not well placed okay then i have seen they do not take the instructions seriously and they will still be whimsical and go in the manoratha which is the chariot of the mind as i keep saying always manorathe na sati dhavato bahi all right so that is the first symptom you lack direction in life you have no goals in life yes you think life is just the way it is flowing okay we will see what to do when time comes yes when when there is a fire then you will search oh my god where's the water where's the water uh, where's the pipe through which i can pump water that is the first symptom you lack direction you don't know what am i supposed to do what is the second symptom second symptom is you are victim of one of the two either inferiority complex or superiority complex either of these two will be there they are actually two sides of the same coin <laughs> because inferiority complex and superiority complex is a product of self absorption 
what is self absorption we are supposed to be absorbed in ourselves right <laughs> that's what the modern scenario teaches you the materialistic society teaches you you are supposed to be absorbed in yourself be obsessed about yourself think that you are great yes so the second symptom is you are either a victim of superiority complex or inferiority complex which means that either you feel that you are not that great <laughs> or you think you are too great <laughs> it is great to feel good about oneself but it is not good to feel great about oneself should i repeat <laughs> it is great to feel good about oneself but it is not very good to feel great about oneself we have the epic example of the mahabharat where there are two characters arjuna and karna yes they are two very famous characters within the epic why does time and again the mahabharat exemplify the character of arjuna and why not karna yes why have you ever asked the question because the primary difference between arjuna and karna was arjuna wanted to be good should i repeat arjuna wanted to be good karna wanted to be great he wanted to prove himself he had this self obsession that why am i not called the best archer if you are not called what's the big deal chill man but no you want that tag that is another symptom you are searching for tags if a girl has this problem she'll be searching why am i not the most beautiful girl out there why are people not giving me the tag line see that what that's what happens when sun is terrible because see what happens is when sun is rising in the sky it is rising it is not seeing okay maybe the moon is rising with me <laughs> or maybe somebody has got up no it will rise irrespective of anybody is sleeping or anybody is awake or anybody is living or anybody is dying which means that it doesn't want the affirmation it doesn't want the what you say na pat in the back it doesn't want a push from anybody yes that is the meaning of a beautiful sun you do things irrespective of others recognizing you for that or not you do it just because you love to do just because you want to do it not because people say good things about you when you do that no yes therefore the symptom is that you will keep searching for tag lines for tag names for tags yes i am the best archer like karna used to keep searching you will be doing chest thumping yes why am i not this why am i not that <laughs> that is a very terrible symptom yes what is another symptom another symptom is as i said inferiority complex or superiority complex you you boast about yourself you may not boast directly but you do humble bragging humble bragging you see humble bragging <laughs> as in hindi uh, sometimes in india they say na guru ji hamara to aisa hai waisa hai <laughs> i have seen people bragging about how quickly they achieve things yes this is another symptom i have seen this is phenomenal how quickly they have achieved things It's like there was a person once who told me that oh in 12th standard when she was in uh, class 12 which is considered to be very difficult the exams in india maybe in other countries also but in india especially 11 12 is very difficult for anybody so this girl was telling me oh actually you know i my mother told me you misused your knowledge because you know i finished chemistry syllabus in 3 months ha oh. <laughs> well madam there's nothing great about finishing chemistry syllabus in 3 months yes because that can happen only once in your life it cannot happen every time if you lack consistency then you will lack consistency in every area yes because only the area is changing if you are used to getting things quickly or if you are used to getting things done by others then you will suffer because that will not happen every time yes there's nothing great in finishing a chemistry syllabus in 3 months 
provided you have studied properly earlier. If you have not studied and somehow you make it, maybe you can do it once in a life, but not every time. It doesn't happen. All right. So that is another symptom. Humble bragging, boasting, trying to gain validation from others is another symptom. Keeping checking your Facebook. Oh my God, how many likes have I got? Basically, what is the meaning of likes in Facebook? Likes in Facebook means the validation by X, Y, Z number of people that yes, 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 your post is great. It is okay to post selfies in Facebook. I'm not saying you cannot post the photos in Facebook. I'm not telling that. Do not misinterpret me. Do not misquote me. Do not extrapolate me. Do not whimsically change what I say. Please do not do that. If you do it, I will see to it. <laughs> but if you are all the time constantly going on checking, 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 how many likes, how many likes, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, oh my God. Why not 1000 likes? <laughs> that means the light inside you is deficient. Yes. You are not sure about yourselves. You doubt yourself. Self-doubt. Yes. Another symptom as I said. Self-doubt. Whenever you think of doing something, you are always doubting. Oh, maybe I can do this. Maybe I can't do that. Yes. You don't know. Are you able to do it or not? See, these people I have seen, even if they can do, but they will still think that we cannot do. <laughs> yes. What is another symptom? No, this is big. <laughs> you cannot make any decision. You cannot make any decision. <laughs> you simply cannot make any decision. You are always hovering from all the pros and cons. Because see, 10th house is the house of decisions. 10th house has multiple significators. It is Jupiter, Sun, Mercury and Saturn. Mercury represents our ability to see the pros and cons of situations of both the angles or maybe of multiple angles. And then Sun represents our ability to make a decision. Yes. And Saturn represents our ability to persevere and to go on carrying those decisions. Yes. And then the fruits of the decisions, the fruits of our labor is represented by Jupiter. That is why the 10th house has four Karakas, four significators. But among them, Sun is the primary significator. Yes, along with Mercury. All four are important, but Sun has its importance in the area of decision making. Yes. So when Sun is weak, even if you go to 10 people. Ah, yeah, this is another symptom I have seen. They will go to 10 people and they'll keep asking, Oh, sir, what do you think? What is your opinion? Do you think this is right? This is wrong? Ah. <laughs> because they want that whenever they are shooting with a gun, they keep it in the shoulder of somebody else and they will shoot. So that if something goes wrong, they can say, No, 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 no. This person told me that is why I did. <laughs> This is another symptom. You do not take responsibility. Should I repeat? You do not take responsibility. You do not wish to take responsibility. Yes. When things go haywire, you blame others. You do not have the courage to stand straight and say, yes, it was my mistake. Yes. <laughs> what is the next indication? The next indication is you have Zero inquisitiveness for God. Oh my God. Kabul the ice. What did he just say? You have zero inquisitiveness for God. Or the higher wisdom. Yes, because sun is light. Sun is the significator of light. It is what is light. Light is spiritual wisdom. Divine knowledge. That helps you to go beyond this world. Yes, that is the planet sun. So sun signifies all this. No interest in God, no interest in spirituality, just hovering around in the mundane platform, gossiping about cricketers, about sportsmen, about film stars, about politicians, going in the pub, drinking alcohol, talking about women, talking about who has had an affair, talking about which is the latest iPhone, just hovering around the mental platform. You are unaware of the reality. You do not have the conception of Tattwa. And neither you are interested in it. Yes. 
वॉट इज अनदर सिम्टम यू रन इन टू बैड एस्ट्रोलॉजर्स हाँ यू रन इन टू टेरेबल एस्ट्रोलॉजर्स हु विल इधर चीट यू हु विल टेक मनी फ्रॉम यू हु विल लूट यू एंड हु विल गिव यू रॉन्ग गाइडेंस येस जुपिटर एंड सन आर सीरियसली एफ्लिक्टेड इन योर चार्ट इफ दैट इज हैपनिंग येस वॉट इज अनदर सिम्टम योर रिलेशनशिप विद योर फादर सफर्स you have a terrible relationship yes may not be terrible but not that good what is another symptom you have problem with your higher authorities anybody who is above you 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 somehow does somehow don't gel well with them yes because rahu wants to eclipse the sun which means you want to throw them and you want to take their position take their seat you have quarrels with your guru can you imagine somebody is fighting with their guru itself <laughs> you have quarrels if a woman has this she may have difficulties with her mother in law or with her father in law yes or if a man has this he may have difficulties in the same way he may have a difficult relationship with his father or with his father in law because they are they are seniors yes there you go these are the symptoms you cannot decide you are confused you are lost you don't know what you are supposed to do in this world even if people tell you this is right this is wrong you still cannot decide yes and you are very you are very shaky person yes these people another symptom i will give you this is a bonus symptom the moment today they will decide something this is big actually perhaps this is the number one i am telling you this is above everything <laughs> maybe i should have told this in the first but no problem better late than never the moment they will decide something they will try okay today i will today i have decided i will not eat non veg suppose and then suddenly what happens after 6 months you you see them going to kfc or mcdonalds and biting that chicken burger and then you are like oh my god what happened you said that you just gave up non veg oh no 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 actually i could not ha huh. and then you try to justify as i said you do not take responsibility you will try to justify you will say that no no actually it's not that bad to eat non veg only thing is you should eat in moderation it's like telling that okay it's okay to drink poison but in moderation you should eat right it's like some people say na everything is good in life there's nothing wrong there's nothing bad you see <laughs> you should try everything in life have you heard of this fund these days typical people see what happens is when you cannot take responsibility for something then you have to justify it yes because your son is terrible because you cannot just stand strong and stray say that no i could not do it i could not follow it i could not control myself yes now you cannot do that because if you could do it you would not go back yes to your decision of leaving meat i'm just giving an example i'm not delineating people who are eating meat here i'm not doing that do not extrapolate me do not misinterpret do not misquote me okay do not think like that i'm just giving an example tomorrow a person may decide i want to learn uh, what you say music he may start learning the violin but again after some time he will be like no 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 i don't want to learn this you keep jumping from here to there from one thing to the other today you ask them okay what you are planning to do in life today they will be like maybe i am thinking to open a hotel tomorrow they will be like no 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 maybe i think you know embroidery business is better no no i think i should keep selling milk products <laughs> all of these are typical symptoms basically it's confused headless individual <laughs> you don't know anything what is going on in this world why you should do what what to do where to do when to do and you are running from here to there okay today may be this today may be that and commitment you cannot give because sun is also the significator of commitment this is the last thing you cannot give commitment suppose you are in a relationship with a girl and somehow your mother doesn't like the girl then you have to make a choice either you listen to your mother or you listen to her yes either you marry her by giving pain to your mother or you do not marry her and then you satisfy your mother like that now this is a very important decision you have to make yes because you cannot do two two things simultaneously <laughs> but you cannot decide yes you cannot simply decide you cannot stand and say my dear please go my mother doesn't like you i will not marry you 
or you cannot tell to your mother my dear mother i'm sorry i'm going to marry that girl and now you will justify it how how will you justify this he will say no 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 actually i love my mother i love this girl also how can i decide no because when you have to decide you have to let go of certain things you have to cut a part of yourself which you cannot do that is why you are justifying justification is another trait always they will justify and they are very irresponsible number one irresponsible person wherever you meet them they will be like okay today this bus was there okay i missed the bus they will never do things in time yes those are more of traits of saturn but irresponsibility is also when sun is afflicted yes no commitment no stability hovering around from here to there yes there you go these are the symptoms of an afflicted sun now the question is what to do my sun is terrible <laughs> oh my god i am finished oh yeah and i forgot to say you do not get recognition for your work your sun is also the signifier of career name fame status how much ever you do everything goes into the garbage <laughs> <coughs> that means your son is difficult yes problem with boss authority figures higher authorities yes so then what to do very simple go and worship lord ram because he is the avatar of vishnu who signifies the sun yes is very simple there is no doubt about it yes go and worship lord ram without a doubt i am saying there is simply no doubt on that when you worship lord ram because lord ram is known as maryada purushottam he took ek apatni vrat that i will marry only once and that's it even when sita left him she went to the forest to stay with valmiki in his ashram but lord ram could have married he didn't marry there you see that is called commitment sita devi is another example she stayed in the house of ravana as his captive and ravana tried his best to seduce her to force her to submit to him so that she marries him but sita devi said no i am married to ram i will never marry you <laughs> so when you learn the divine wisdom of the scriptures then you see examples otherwise if you are keeping on seeing these film stars yes okay today he is having an affair with her tomorrow she is having an affair with him sometimes extra marital premarital needless to say sometimes triple marriages four marriages uh, some people have they have eight marriages so if you are keeping these people as your ideals who are themselves shaken then what else can you expect because the principle of gigo works here garbage in garbage out so take care of the input which you are giving to yourself i am not saying that do not watch film stars now somebody will write in the comment but yes there are film stars who have had only one marriage if you write it you can write it you will only write it if you do not understand what i say yes and i am expecting some of you will write it no 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 but this politician has had only one wife yes so maybe what i am saying is whoever he is make sure you take inspiration from the right people and the best people to take inspiration is from the scriptures read about them read about lord ram read about sita devi women especially and men lord ram read about them read about the great sages how they were they were inquisitive about god read about the past times which god performed by that you will know that i am not alone as i say god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will be there you will know about it yes and then things will improve Okay that is it from my side if you have any questions queries or comments regarding this video you can let me know and if you are not subscribed to the channel then please subscribe to it and if you are interested in making some donation for the sustenance of this channel then the link to paypal is there in the comments you can go and donate or else have a look at my other videos there you go symptoms of an afflicted sun wish you all the best with your afflicted sun <laughs> all right see you Bye-bye.